hello. Oh, welcome. Actually, I should be welcome here, you know, that's your territory. No, 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 it's our territory. Okay. Welcome, and I'm so excited you're joining me today. I have Sasha with us, Sasha Popovich, oh. and Immobilium Thank is you. the new platform that you guys are building. It's already built, and it's already functioning. Right, and I heard that it's amazing, and you guys working everywhere in the world, and it's something very unique for real estate, and I thought it would be very interesting for real estate agents to hear about that. That's why I invited you, and I wanted to hear all about it, why and when you started that idea and how it benefits our market. Well, thank you for inviting me. I mean, you're doing a great job here, honestly. I'm pleased to sit with you. Um, well, I was always in some technology all my life since the 90s, was building things. And a few years ago, we tried to uh, monetize a certain assets we had. And since we were doing a blockchain, tech, which I don't want anyone to be scared right now, I know it's still it's taboo for real estate agent. <laughs> so we try to use the market that everyone wants to use, but everyone is scared to actually go and and access it. And it was real estate market. Uh, and we combined two of them, the real estate and, and the blockchain technology and build them one of the most sophisticated platform on the market now. And, um, by building it, we realized that, uh, we cannot bypass agents. It's always this, uh, new way of, uh, technology thinking that, you know, we replace cabs with Uber driver we are replacing Airbnb, you know, hotels with Airbnb, but, Agents and the brokerages are the essence of this whole industry. You know, this human factor is needed. So while we were being the technology, um, we couldn't move anywhere further uh, unless we partner up with all of you guys. You know, everyone that's around there from agents to, you know, uh, brokerages to uh, escrows. And uh, slowly this whole project of just being a tech turned into, uh, you know, Angie's list for real estate, so to say. Uh, we are in 24 countries. Uh, 24 we, countries? 24 countries. Wow. Uh, we just signed. So what is what is exactly it does? What, what, what's going on? Immobilium, it's okay. such an interesting name. Well, Immobilium, it's actually Latin for real estate. Okay. And not many people don't know that. They don't even know how to spell it. Even I had difficulty spelling when you asked me before. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's... Uh, um, what, what we do, we are making it easier for assets to be purchased around the world. So it's kind of like, um, you know, there is this concept of security and comfort. If you take a situation right now that um, anyone from, let's say, Germany would like to purchase a property here in order for that. In California in or Cali New York or anywhere, anywhere in the United States. let's just take California and let's take a scenario a friend of our, like our, like an agent, let's call her Isabel. You know, she had a buyer that uh, was uh, connecting through her, through Insta, through internet, like, you know, Googling her, tried to find a way to approach her. And she took him serious. She spent, she spent weeks of uh, uh, helping me out, select the right property. At the end of the day, the gentleman even flew to LA uh, she drew him for two weeks, showed him everything, and he said, perfect, I'll go back home, and, you know, everything is fine and ready. The moment he arrived, you know, he had a buyer's remorse, or, I don't know, his wife told him, no, we don't want to move there. So our agent friend spent and wasted all this time over nothing. So what we are doing, we, are, we added a human factor to this whole technology. So we're opening up an offices around the world that we are actually doing the diligence on both ends or for the buyer's end and for the seller's end. So now you as an agent, you don't have to worry if someone who is in Japan or is in Dubai or is in Switzerland would love to purchase the property. You're not going to just like brush it off and say, you know what, okay, I'll get back to you. You know, we are pretty much doing all this work on our end and delivering you the buyer on a silver plate. On the same time, we want to guarantee the buyer that everything in California, in LA, in this agency is going to do that properly and right because that individual at a certain point has to wire you $1.75 million and Correct. close the transaction. So what we are doing, we are not disrupting the market, we are adapting to it. So we work with the local rules and regulations. We are doing everything by the book, but we are shortening the process of purchase by, by 80%. Right. So let me just kind of explain a little bit simple. Yeah. I can see you technology guy, you're going in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically you meet with the agents and let's assume uh, my friend team 
has a listing and uh, he's trying to promote his listing. And uh, obviously we're using MLS, we're using different you know, platforms that we're using in California or anywhere in different states in the US, they can also put that listing on your platform. Absolutely. With all the data. Absolutely. Correct. And then what happens is your platform, people looking at your platform in different places in the world. So let's assume that team have a listing that he put it on Immobilium and the gentleman from Germany goes on the website, sees the listing, he can contact team and you also have your team exactly. underwriting the process, connecting to the buyer, making sure he can afford. So team doesn't waste his time and the buyer doesn't waste his time. Is that basically Absolutely. how it's, you summarize it's like it's it? A, it's a little bit more on the top of like, I try to, each time when I present there is technology included, you know, most of the agents look at me like a fall from Mars. So like I have to right. actually kind of slow it down. So that's kind of simplifying it, what you're trying to say, correct? absolutely simplifying it. So basically, as far as if real estate agents are watching us, right? I'm yeah. an escrow, so I'm a little bit different. But for real estate agent, if anybody has a great listing and they're trying to market the listing and promote the listing outside of US or inside of US, they can use a mobilium for free. Absolutely. Right now. Absolutely. We are not charging any fees. You know, we're expanding the network. So they're advertising their name. This is the difference what we are doing. Worldwide. Like, absolutely. So like if you take, for example, now Redfin or Zillow, what they're doing, they're hiding all the agents, like pretty much trying to emphasize their own Redfin or Zillow agents. Right, they're building their platform. We are, we are actually transparent. We want to know. We want to post who the agency is, who the, you know, brokerage is, who the, all those guys, so that the buyer that we talk to, let's say in Germany, knows that this is a real deal. Because in the same way we are going through a process of called KYC AML, like knowing your customers and anti-money laundry, that we are doing a background check on that buyer. So when that buyer is actually ready to purchase, he, he doesn't or she doesn't have to wait for this whole process to start. You know, we are emphasizing on pre-inspections. We are emphasizing on title pull to be done, you know, prior so that this whole package is already done on a platform. All, all that's needed is for transaction to happen. So let's assume that team puts the listing, uh, uh, Jonathan from Netherlands loves the listing. Yeah. How do they contact the listing agent? There is a phone number or they have to contact you guys to contact no, them. I think the Jonathan from Netherlands is going to go and browse and see what he likes. And at some point, you know, he has to go and sign up through a platform. So anything is free. So he's browsing. When he starts signing up, he has to go through this process of giving his identity. It's the same process that we, let's say Coinbase or Bank of America, anyone is using online by scanning your face, showing a passport. So what we are doing with that step, we are making sure that that individual buyer is really ready to make a purchase. Otherwise he won't go through this whole thing. Got it. And then once he signed up, that's like already 80% of work done. Yeah, you're saving so much time so for much real time. estate agents. Absolutely. That's incredible. It's amazing. How did you, when did this idea well, came? Well, I mean, the, the idea came because uh, I was trying to build something in real estate market. I've been doing technology all my life and I had a bunch of clients through my startups and through my incubators. They were always trying to add, add certain finesse to like, you know, we wasting time, you know, I want to do something faster. And I remember talking to one of my uh, co-founders and partner and said, I actually had no freaking clue about real estate. I mean, I had properties and stuff like that, but I was never generally involved. So I was, um, you know, talking to him, like, what can we do when it comes to real estate that we can, you know, stand out? And he, and I was trying to pitch something to like, you know, be better than DocuSign to when two agents find each other, they don't have to meet, yada, yada, yada. So he goes, no, if we can find a way to save time, you know, so that an escrow doesn't usually take six weeks, but takes maybe six days. And it's secure and say, and, and, and it's comfortable for both sides. That's what's going to change what we are doing. And by doing that, you know, we came to the point that anyone, everyone was jumping in and being a part of it. We're working exclusively with partnerships in relationship. You know, we are not just absorbing MLS and putting like a million listings with, this is not who we are. So the partnership I had, let's say hypothetically, nest seekers with a uh, banker with um, Harcourts international and so far. From a US market, it's done like already prior. I want to make sure that like I can close this transaction as soon as possible versus like knocking on a door and say, hi, I'm Sasha. I have a buyer waiting, but can we do something? So 
it's it's like even the escrow it's already attached to this whole you know property listing so everything is right there so in order for you you know for it for buyer to do anything just send the money you already know the money is in escrow you call a title and say do we have all the paperwork done okay let's close and um, so you're saving time in mobility uh, not just marketing the agents not just helping yeah. them to build the business you also kind it's, of shorting the process by 80% absolutely not just that like um you know, we just opened our locations in Caribbean islands, like six, seven different islands there. And um, I have a, like a, 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 one of the agents from San Martin, uh, you know, I encouraged him to actually put uh, other listings there, like listings, properties from Greece, from Dubai, from, you know, Germany that we have in our disposal. So he asked me like, who is going to buy like, you know, San Martin German property. So I told him, look, you don't see this thing the right way. You have so many tourists coming every day. You know, those tourists are not going to arrive in Aruba and San Martin and Haiti and buy the Arubian properties right there. They may love them when they go back home, but just imagine a trigger that you can start with them when they see a Greek property is offered by your agency in Haiti or in Aruba. They may actually, you know what? I want to buy this. It's like you're walking into a boutique and you're seeing all Mercedes and suddenly there's a Ferrari there. You came for one thing, you end up with the other. And it doesn't cost them. So we have this ideology, like our portfolio is your portfolio. Any agent can build their own brand underneath them just by offering other properties that like you don't have to now communicate with an agency in Dubai to represent this property. Immobilium already represents that. That's why those partnerships are very important. So we represent properties that you have in Dubai and then some other agents from LA can absorb it from Immobilium. We close the transaction. You are happy as an agency. They, they are happy, happy they as are an happy, agency you know? because both sides exactly. obviously selling and making money and, 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 on and top, it's creating activity. Absolutely. And on top of it, like our technology is like it's a masterpiece. I was just talking to your friend right here who blew my mind, forgot his name, Ty, right? Amazing guy. Uh, it's like we already have uh, options for fractional ownership that um, hundreds of different people can own one property anywhere in the world, you know. Going and it's a, pretty easy, right? I absolute, looked at the website. It looks like absolute, if I like the house in Aruba, I just click sell, uh, yeah, buy. Yeah. And you can actually buy it on the spot. You can buy it on the spot. With a wire. You can buy it on the spot with a wire. You can, you can buy it with a crypto. We're the only, I know, everybody says this thing. It's a new, I heard it's called ABC, anything by, by crypto. Trust me, it's just around the corner. It's the scare. It's coming. And I'm not here to sell crypto, but I'm trying to explain people that crypto solutions are there for a reason. Uh, we integrated technology that actually makes a conversion. Right. That, like if you now really have like a million dollars. No, crypto is happening. We, we actually, at my escrow company, we're closing for crypto deals right now. But how are you closing them? Through exchange companies, obviously. So but even then, I have to be approved. I have to be qualified as an escrow company. We have to go through a certain process. So it's more complicated to deal with crypto, but See, we are but doing it. With us, I'm converting this crypto into fiat, which means into dollar, into euro in 15 minutes. Oh, wow. So, so like, you know, if you now, if you now sit in, let's say, um, let's call it Switzerland, and you want to buy a property here, and you have a million dollars in Bitcoin. Okay, there is nothing much you can buy in LA for a million bucks, but let's 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 call it that way. You can buy something. You, <laughs> you we uh, you we attach our platform to your crypto wallet. We do exchange, and we send you dollars into your escrow account in forty eight hours. And we have no limit. I mean, limit is hundred million dollars. Anything that you try to do through exchanges right now, there is always certain limitations. Right, oh, they have limitations. Exactly. Yes. We don't have limitations. It's done in 15 minutes. That's why we call it like one click purchase for 15 minutes. Right now, dealing with crypto, it's a little bit difficult for real estate. I'm dealing with the files right now. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but then again, because you receive- But you know what's funny is agents don't understand that. I they know. think it's a regular transaction. We can just get a wire as an escrow. And I'm like, no. But there is so much paperwork involved behind for escrow company, even, even to qualify to take money from exchange companies but see, from crypto. The point is with us, you don't have to qualify. We are giving you dollars regardless. It's like an asset to asset. Imagine somebody comes to you and gives you a bar of gold and said, this gold is worth a million dollars. I'm going to buy this house. You cannot do that. You have to find someone to sell this gold and get dollars. But if there was an option that through technology, you can actually put gold somewhere and get dollars at the other end, you know, you would take it. This is what we do. So on one end, Bitcoin comes in, on the other end, dollar comes out. So you, as an escrow, you're receiving dollars. Right. Well, That's I'm receiving dollars from that company as well because yeah. I can't receive crypto. But to receive that, I have to go through a lot of process. Right. 
it's yeah. uh, it's uh, the good thing I just said at the beginning. It's all those offices and expansion. You know, like my good friend Eddie Shapiro would say. You know, um, um, you know, grow or die. And um, we are in twenty four countries. I mean, we are so proud of that. It's insane. Took an Emacs, I don't know, twenty years to be in eighty six locations. We are in twenty four in four months. We are adding network of like already eleven hundred agents on a global level. And the beauty is they can communicate with each other. We are not going to ban them. They can create partnerships. Partnerships. They can do yeah. all these things. Through Grow us. their businesses and do everything Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Wow, that's incredible. That's an amazing idea. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dana. And you guys located in Beverly Hills Beverly currently, Hills. right? Of course. The place that you visit from time to time. Yeah. Well, well I need a special passport to get there. I know. There. <laughs> 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 well, I'm so excited. And uh, the first time we met, I knew there is something unique about this. And I thought, oh, wow, that's an incredible idea. Obviously, I think it's amazing from any perspective. If Absolutely. you're looking as far as the agents or if you're looking as a seller, if you're looking as a buyer and obviously crypto, a lot yeah. of people right now, there is a big debate. Is it going to happen? Is it right. not going to happen? Right. I can we, see we that you're a believer. We absolutely ready. We had to we had to bury. I was you know I was just saying before. I had to bury tons of our technology because people got confused. So we have to change the way we present this thing to agents. And now it's like, hey, it's a network. It's free. Put your listings. Let us help you. We grow with you. Right. It's you know, it's it's can't benefit negatively. Absolutely. It's only benefit uh, positive. This as this uh, whole exchange thing. Like you know how does this process work? So the way it's working right now for escrow, let's okay. say. For us, right. as an escrow company, we have a accepted file, which, you know, we okay. receive executed RPA. And uh, usually we will be in communication with the agents. Uh, they're letting us know that the purchase will be done through exchange okay. from crypto. So what happens is the buyer communicates with the exchange company, uh, believe they're closing the fees, whatever okay. exchange charging them. Then between buyer and exchange company, the exchange takes the Bitcoin right. or whatever it is there. Okay. And once they exchange it, they will be wiring it to us. Now for us, from our perspective, it's not that easy. It's not just like when the lender funding, we're just receiving the wire or title receives the wire. We have to do a lot of paperwork. We have to disclose everything. And we have to do a lot of submission to get this approved. So as an escrow company, even though we are receiving cash, right. we still have to go through the legal process to be able to receive the money from crypto exchange. May I ask you, how long does this exchange process take usually with through your buyers? Well, right now we have few files, obviously the all cash because you have to yeah. be, there is right. no lender involved. And uh, usually between, I would say 30 to 45 days, some okay. of the escrows a little bit shorter, but again, this depends where the buyers are located. Some buyers are international, so it takes them a little bit longer, different hours, but it shouldn't be too complicated. It's just complicated in the back office. Is it like the as the exchange takes that long for them to exchange that money? I believe they need about a week and a half to exchange, okay. if I'm not mistaken. We do this thing in 15 minutes. Here we go. That's the difference. You're the future. I'm actually the current. We have the Sasha. He's from the, the future. Present. We have the future in the house. 15 minutes, up to $100 million. And I'll do the same process that you are actually asking. So... How does it work? Do you guys charge fee or? Of course, okay. there is a fee. Uh, the fee for uh, for any kind of transaction in a crypto is between one and a half and two and a half percent. That's exactly what they're charging yeah. as well. Absolutely. and But we can lower it depending on amount because our third party, the bank exchange that we're working with, they can like lower it on their own. Our goal right now is to actually not even charge fees. You know, we are now penetrating the market and we want to be everywhere. So... You know, we can go as low as 1%, but the situation, again, it takes 15 minutes. Wow. So you guys using a stable coin? Yeah, absolutely. Stable coins are predominantly the, 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 the prime, the prime solution. But, you know, next to it, there is like Bitcoin, Ethereum. And like we even did exchanges with the craziest coins that like nobody wanted to touch by like, uh, actually it was a, 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 it was a purchase from Turkey into, into Montenegro where the guy had a coin called Tron. It was something that like, seriously, like you wouldn't even touch it. And we did it, you know, we did it through our exchange. And what, what do you do with the Tron? With the Tron, you it's put a, it on the Tron? <laughs> yeah. Well, a Tron, you know, it, it, it's each of this coin, actually, it's a part of certain project that people are using. Like Immobilium has its own coin that we are releasing on a market sometimes in July, but Immobilium has utilities. So like agents are going to 
have the coin and the more coins they are having, the less the fees are going to be around the world. We're going to give them like priorities in, um, in like, you know, platform, you know, positions. There's going to be so many, especially with fractional ownership, lending, the thing that we're going to use our coin, it's peer to peer lending where you right now in LA are going to be able to lend money to someone in Japan to buy a house in Germany. And everything is going to go through the, through the platform. So we, we're going to create certain like fee, you know, uh, what's the uh, APR rate between to you guys, but we're going to hold all the like, you know, due diligence, all the like responsibility for that lending. So the coin itself has to have certain ways, certain utilities. It's actually token that actually manages through the platform. So Tron, that's another project that I'm not that much familiar with, but it's just another project that people are buying those coins, thinking it's going to go millions and millions of dollars, and then everything collapsed. So the guy has a bunch of coins that do nothing. So he tried to get rid of it and buy the property. That's, that's the thing. It's an asset to asset. So he knew he cannot sell that to anywhere on the market. So he said, you know what? Since I cannot sell it on open market, why don't I exchange it for a real estate? And that's exactly what Immobilium is. Putting a crypto one end, going into the asset in the other end. That's incredible. Wow. I guess I need to start buying Tron. Um, no, you have to start buying Immobilium. Actually, oh, I'll, give okay. you some, I'll give you some points. <laughs> Basically, are you an exchange company as well? Well, not yet. So we are using our partners to do the exchange. It's like, you know, let's say we affiliate with Bank of America. You go to Bank of America and you give them dollars to give you euros. So there's our partners overseas. They are doing exchange. They have tons of liquidity, like hundreds of millions of dollars. And they make money. Like you told, like all those exchanges are making money by collecting a percent or 2% on dollar versus like, which is called fiat versus crypto. But like, you know, our platform is set for everything. We are just not pushing it too much into technology uh, uh, because we believe that it's like about five years from now before you're going to be click. And so buy. I have five years if I want to open one of those companies? I think you should open I'm it now. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> you, you, you should open it now. I'm in the wrong business, guys. No, escrow, schmescrow, come yeah, on. Your, your company, escrow, we have, you know, the other thing that Immobilium, that's why I say the partnerships are so crucial. Each country has their own way of thinking. I mean, the, the reason that companies like Fidelity, hypothetically, didn't want to open anything on abroad, and I had a meeting with like one of one of executives was because it's crazy, it's crazy dealing with people where we come from, you know? Like the Greeks, they, they have coffee between two and five. There is nothing you can do about that. Lawyer, no lawyer, he's not going to say- smart. Yeah, I know. They're smart. You know, in Israel, you have to have send money to three different parties when you buy a property. So I'm not gonna, even going to tell you what other shenanigans are going in other countries. I know. So we realize that there is a lot of potentials in Euro European in international, like, you know, property purchases coming from America. But like telling an American that he has to send the money to something called notary, or something called a lawyer, and it's all, all good, it's equivalent to an escrow, it's scary for them, you know? So what we did, we opened up a first global international escrow in Switzerland, and it's backed by Berkeley Bank. So anything goes through Zedra, those are our partners, and then it gets distributed anywhere else. So like we are really up to liability and, and, and standards. standards for anything purchased outside of the US, you know, into the world. Most of developers, there's so much, so many developments, there's so many hotels, there's so many stuff out there. I feel much more comfortable to buy that new island you just posted. Oh my Toyo. God, didn't you like it? You know, like Zanzibar. Why <laughs> Can you would get you? me one in a heart shape? Absolutely. Okay, that's like the Zanzibar one Zanzibar is our new yeah. territory that's like East East Africa. It's it's a jewel, it's it's amazing place. But I don't think anyone like, you know, would just buy something like that directly. So for that reason, we made sure we have like certain stepping stones and security so levels. So people feel comfortable people to feel do comfortable. acquisitions. Exactly. Yeah. That's the goal. Selling something in Paris and London, anybody can do it. There is million of agencies. Buy something in Zanzibar or buy something in Seychelles Islands, Cayman Islands or, you know, Aruba. It's very, it's, complicated. It's very complicated. Got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sasha with Immobilium here changing the world. Future is now. <laughs> Right? Future is now. Absolutely. This now. is it. Absolutely. We in the future. We in the future. Okay. Thank you Great. so much for, for thank inviting you for coming me. And and thank me. you for your team. Of I, course. You guys are all nice. Thank you.